Hello everyone. So, what is mindfulness? Well, mindfulness is a word that's used a lot and we hear a lot of it. But do we really know what it is? Uh, the good thing about mindfulness for children, I think, is that children are naturally very mindful. We have a tendency as children to live in the present moment. I think when I remember myself as a child, one of the things that, that I miss is that ability to live in the present moment, to go outside on a day like today and to just enjoy it, to enjoy everything about the day, the, the sun on my face, um, the birds in the trees, the ice cream, the taste of ice cream, the smell of sun cream, the feel of sun cream. And all of those things form my memories. When I think of myself as a child at the beach in Galway, in Salt Hill, I can taste, almost taste the, the sea, the salt, because my memories are made up of those kind of moments, that, that feeling of just being, without worrying about what's going to come next or what happened before. And the definition of my mindfulness is being present in a moment and just noticing, just noticing that moment. And a really good exercise, a really, a really good exercise in mindfulness is maybe on a day like today, just sitting out in nature and just noticing everything around you. Moving out of yourself and just moving out with your senses into nature and just noticing what's going on around you. For me at the moment, I am in my garden and I'm surrounded by lots of trees and flowers and weeds and two uh, hens are here pecking along behind me and I can hear the close, the noise of them close, close by. I can hear the shuffling le of leaves behind me. But further away, I can hear more noises. I don't know if you can hear their big brother there. Um, he is crowing there in the, back, in the back of the house. But there's also noise of far off distant traffic. And sometimes when I sit in the garden, I like just, just to let my, let my senses take over, to let the senses take over from the thoughts and to notice the sounds and the smells and to think almost in terms of tastes as well with the smells, you know, the sweet smell of flowers. And I, I also notice the feeling of the sun on my skin and the wind and the breeze in my hair. And when I'm being mindful like that and taking deep breaths, then I feel a lot more peaceful. And I think in days like today as well, another good exercise in mindfulness is lying down on the grass and looking up at the sky and noticing the clouds. Because like I've often said to you, clouds in the sky are a bit like thoughts. So we are the sky. So if you imagine us as the sky and the clouds as thoughts. And if we just look at the sky, we'll notice clouds and they'll come and they'll go and there'll be different sizes and shapes. Some of them are big and fluffy and white and some of them are gray. Don't, you don't have to do anything to change that, those clouds. There's nothing you can do to control those clouds. Just let them pass and they will pass. And what's left underneath is the blue sky. Now I have a, a chicken at my feet. You can't see her and she's actually trying to peck my leg at the moment. But um, I'm going to keep talking. and I know that she'll stop in a minute. A little bit like the clouds. So what I'd love you to do today, and this is a, a practice a mindfulness practice and bearing in mind that mindfulness is something we need to practice if if we practice something it becomes a bit by bit it becomes easier and it forms a habit and um, a, a good practice today in mindfulness would be to lie down on the grass and look up at the sky and notice the clouds notice the, the different shapes and sizes and colors of the clouds and practice just watching them floating by and know that you are the sky and those clouds are like your thoughts and just let them let them float on past because often and we're human and this is totally natural we become consumed by our thoughts sometimes when we sit down outside we're not we're not no noticing we're not noticing anything that's going on around us we're com consumed by our thoughts we're thinking about things that maybe happened yesterday or things that are going to happen and we're imagining things that might happen and sometimes we get carried away with worries and there are worries playing on our minds and those worries 
can take us to a different place and we can feel them in our body. Sometimes you can actually, do you ever get that feeling sometimes in your tummy when you start thinking about something and your tummy actually starts reacting or you start reacting? I always think it's a bit like a dream. If you've ever had a dream about somebody doing something to you and you wake up and you feel angry with the person, even though it was just a dream, well, you can do that. We have great power. Our brains have amazing power. They have, our brains have huge power over our, our bodies. And sometimes we really need to control our brains and control our thoughts or we will feel the effect in our body. So for children, I think we're lucky. Children are lucky. Well, I say we because sometimes I feel like a child still. But children are very lucky because you are actually quite naturally mindful. When you get older, we lose the ability to, to be mindful. And we, we have more things to worry about and we have more responsibility. And that stops us sometimes from having those moments. And they are just moments to take a deep breath, to stand back and just to notice and be in a moment. But the good news is that anybody can be mindful. So while you might be, you might be actually finding this easier to do than your parents, your parents can, can, can build up a habit too. There's a path beside my house. There's a, it's, it's, a gra it's a grass, it's a patch of grass. Um, it's, it's a field that leads up onto the road. And people have a tendency of cutting across that grass and have made a little path with. And it looks, and everybody goes that because there's so many feet walked across that, that piece of grass that it's actually been made into a, into a pathway. Well, our brains, the good news is, our brains are very squidgy. They're kind of like, um, they're like um, Play-Doh. And we can make paths in our brain. We can actually make pathways. We can change the shapes of our brain. Imagine that, imagine having that power. And if we keep going over and back on a certain path, then we can make it into a pathway. And what I mean by that is, if we practice being mindful for a minute here and a minute there, then that's something that will actually become part of us. It's something that will, will become a habit for us. And I promise you that being mindful isn't complicated. It's something that, that's, that we've been doing and that humans have been doing from the beginning of time. But just with busyness, we've kind of, we've forgotten and how to be mindful sometimes and we don't always practice it so please just for today as an introduction to mindfulness lie down on the grass look up at the sky let those clouds pass by watch the clouds passing by you don't need to do anything you don't need to chase after them because they will pass and underneath is that lovely blue sky and you are the blue sky and never forget that and feel at peace with yourself